All right, here's the latest on the fire in New Jersey uh, from Ocean County. 617 acres have burned. Route 9 is open. So a fire continues to rage in Ocean County, burning several hundred acres and closing roads. This is in Little Egg Harbor. A fire continues to rage in the Bass River State Forest, burning several hundred of acres as of Monday and closing local roads. The Ocean County Sheriff's Office has said it was the second forest fire to hit Ocean County in two months. Route 9 was reopened on Monday morning after it was closed for several hours. Little Egg Harbor police have advised motorists to avoid areas south of Stage Road and west of Otis Bog Road and Carolyn Drive. Trevor Rayner, a section warden for the New Jersey Forest Fire Service, said that the fire was 40% contained as of midday Monday. There was no major structural or property damage. Voluntary evacuations were, uh, evacuations were underway in Little Egg Harbor in the, town, uh, in the Little Egg Harbor Township area. The Pinelands Middle School was used as a designated shelter for those wishing to leave their homes. Little Egg, Harbor Air, Little Egg Harbor area parents have been urged to contact the main office or guidance department if their child cannot attend school due to roadblocks just so they can attend class virtually. Rainer said the Forest Fire Service does not know the cause of the blaze, which comes two months after another large fire's fire damaged 29 homes and shut down highways in Ocean County. That fire was determined to be in- intentionally set. That was the one in Lakewood. It's not common for the Ocean County area to have two large forest fires within two months of each other. Rainer, speaking at a news conference in Little Egg Harbor on Monday, has said that dry conditions and the lack of rainy weather have, may have been contributing factors. After initially reporting around 1,000 acres burned, Rainer said that number was, was reduced to 617 acres on Monday because of fire suppression tactics. Police and the New Jersey Forest Fire Service provided an update Monday morning announcing that the fire is still under investigation. Dry conditions and high winds on Monday could reinvigorate the fire. Officials will continue to patrol and sweep the forest floors behind nearby houses. With no rain expected in the forecast and temperatures pushing to 85 degrees, the Forest Fire Service will remain vigilant over the next two weeks. Smoke may linger in the area until measurable rain comes. Firefighters started to battle the active wildfire last night, telling ABC6 that the blaze consumed hundreds of acres of land that splits between Ocean and Burlington counties. Approximately 70 firefighters from across the state worked to get the blaze under control, officials told ABC6. So uh, this is a video here uh, from NBC10. This actually got a lot of coverage. Um, and there's a short video of it here. And you can see a, a, the fire burning here in, in, in this area, which is actually a mixed oak and pine area. It's an area that hasn't burned in a while. Uh, but you can see here uh, the fire there easily. Lots of flames visible. Uh, right there. All right, here's another uh, video. This is from Channel 6 in Philadelphia. It's interesting that not many of the New York City based stations covered this. Uh, but uh, again, it seems like New York City stations, you know, this is a little far south for them, actually. So that, that could be part of it, too. This is pretty far south. I'll show you on the map where this is. Uh, you can see reports of smoke and haze in Egg Harbor Township here. Uh, in the area so you can see the smoke uh, from all the fire that's been hanging around in that area um, and uh, there's also another big fire that was in an apartment complex too this wasn't a wildfire uh, but this is uh, what happened over here uh, unfortunately and damaged this building here it's pretty bad so they're having their own little fire epidemic over there as well with a lot of fires going on in New Jersey as well um, not sure why this is happening but uh, this is another article here from uh, Jersey Shore Online. With another picture here uh, of what it looked like last night. You can see the flames. Uh, fewer homes are in danger of being dis- damaged by the 617-acre wildfire that destroyed areas of Little Egg Harbor Township in Ocean County and Bass River State Forest in Burlington County. About 100 structures were g- originally at risk from the fire. Now it's only decreased to about now it's decreased to about 30 structures. No evacuations or damage to structures or injuries have been reported. Uh, and this fire was spotted around 4 p.m. yesterday from the Bass River Fire Tower. It was inside a large forested area that has limited accessibility. Firefighters are working to keep the fire in one area by setting small controlled fires around the main fire by Stage Road and the offshore manor development along U.S. Route 9. This method of controlled fires creates a buffer between the structures and the main fire. Uh, so you can see there's a lot on the news here about this. Uh, also, Press of Atlantic City even made CNN. 
uh, which is pretty impressive. Uh, even made CNN. Uh, if this happened on Long Island, it probably wouldn't have even made CNN. So I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, I'm using an ad blocker. Shut up. Uh, but uh, this is... Uh, so you can see here uh, that uh, CNN has even covered this, which is pretty impressive when you think about it. Uh, you know, meanwhile, if we go to the one, the fire on Long Island, you'll see barely anything on it. Uh, that's it. Nothing. Uh, let's see. Very. Uh, look at that. Barely anything. Um, only one from the patch that I already. Uh, read to you already. So it, it is a smaller fire. It was only about, I think, 10, 10 acres. But even if it was larger, it would not have been covered uh, uh, very well. And barely any TV coverage, which, again, it's just it just shows you that, you know, areas of Long Island are being forgotten for no reason at all. However, I will say, much smaller fire. Uh, Newsday didn't even have anything on it, I don't think. So, uh, but we are at risk for wildfires. So be careful, please, if you're out there. Uh, you know, make sure you're not doing anything that could uh, start a spark or anything like that in the woods, uh, because things are very dry right now. Um, uh, let's see if Riverhead. Let's see if Riverhead News has uh, anything on it. Um, nothing. They had. They're talking about the Flanders one, but. Uh, it's just, you know, it was a small fire, not as big as the one in New Jersey, but uh, the one in New Jersey is a lot bigger. Uh, the one in Manorville was only about 10. They said t 10 acres, um, but uh, very little information on this. Again, it just shows you uh, that, uh, ooh, pre prescribed burn. I didn't even see this. Uh, Long Island burn. Okay, it looks like they're doing some prescribed burns. Uh, this is something else entirely uh, that I'll have to talk about in another video. Um, but hey, WSHU did cover this, so that's good. Uh, so this is a prescribed burn. This was as of May 3rd. See, News 12 didn't even cover this. That's what I mean. We are just forgotten here. It's like the Pine Bear. Because it's, it's like, why are we forgotten? Can you tell me why we're forgotten in the middle of the island? Can you tell me why it always is about Wall Street on Long Island? We've got to put a stop to it. So, uh, you know, I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. So I'll talk about that in yet another video. But uh, that is going to be it for this one. Again, this Ocean County as far as far as is still burning. Uh, so uh, again, keep this in mind when you're out in the woods, uh, and you know even if you're driving your car, make sure there's nothing dangling from the car uh, that could start a spark. Because uh, right now things are very dry. So be very careful when you're out there uh, in forested areas uh, until we get some rain. Thanks for watching and take care.